morning YouTube uh, decided to make a quick video wanted to use my wife's platform and this is mostly going to be geared towards truck drivers out there uh, owner operators people that own their own authority and company like myself uh, as you know dealing with freight brokers can be a constant headache um, there's always a, a ton of issues and there are some good ones out there there's some honest and it seems to be they're they're getting far and fewer between uh, this video specifically targets Bill Thompson FTI. Uh, Bill Thompson Transport Incorporated out of Moline, Alabama uh, does business under the FTI name, which is Frederick Thompson Incorporated. They have some businesses in Canada. I think they've got one in uh, Laredo, Texas as well. But the Moline, Alabama office, I hauled a load for a couple of months ago. And uh, it was a five-stop load, pain in the butt. They were on me to do you know, deliveries on time, which we did. And my wife was with me on that trip. We uh, got it delivered, submitted the paperwork, and net 30 rolls around, which is the contract terms, and no pay, no invoice, nothing, didn't hear anything. So I gave them about a week, week and a half, <clears throat> finally called them, and I spoke to somebody in accounting, and the girl's like, yes, it's approved for pay, but I don't know what the status is, I'll get back to you. Never heard anything. A few days later, I called back, hey, she says, yes, it's approved for pay, uh, I'll call you back with the status. Never heard anything. I called repeatedly over the next couple of weeks and got the same answer, or we'll call you right back. Never received a phone call from, from them. Um, I also finally, two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago, I uh, spoke to the vice president, a guy named Chris Pratt, and he assured me that they had had some trouble. They had a merger at the end of the last year and they were getting on their feet and they would be paying these invoices and that I should re receive payment. And I actually told them at the time, I says, you know, I feel like I don't have any recourse here. And uh, I says, I'm gonna make a video and put it on my wife's channel if I don't hear something from you within a week. Well, I gave them two and a half weeks and nothing. Then yesterday I decided to call the number that he gave me was supposedly quote unquote, his direct line. Well, a random person in the office answers the phone. It's a general number that he gave me and he forwarded me to somebody in their dispatch office and I finally got an honest employee. This employee told me that basically he'd never seen anything like this. It was complete dishonesty, a bunch of lies, and he thought they were going under to the point that he had submitted his two weeks resignation a few days prior. Um, I told him, wow, thanks, you know, I at least appreciate you being honest. Um, and I called him back and actually spoke to the other gentleman in the office <clears throat> he concurred and admitted the same thing, said that he'd been in trucking and in the business his whole life and had never seen anything like this. He said that there were some checks going out, but he, you know, couldn't give me any status update on mine or anything like that. Supposedly this vice president, which I think is probably the owner or one of the owners as well, based on conversation, was up in Illinois and uh, he was actually trying to secure funds to be able to pay their debts and one thing or the other. The problem I have is, is those of us in small business, you know, we depend on, on, on the hard work we do to pay off. And these people, you know, shame on me, I didn't do my review search because I had found a review that the guy was at 100 days, which was well before I had uh, hauled the load for them. And the reality is, is they knew they were having trouble, but yet they still booked the load. They still wanted me to hustle. They still wanted me to deliver on time. Now we're at like 58, I think 59 days uh, with no pay. And had I not contacted them, zero contact from them via phone, email, or my address, um, and still continuing to, to, to push me, you know, the point of being ticked off, that's for sure. Um, I hate dishonesty. I, I, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. And in the trucking world, those of you out there know that it's, it's commonplace, unfortunately. There's very little honor, there's very little integrity. These brokers are some of the most scandalous human beings I have ever met in my life. Um, I, I could go on and on and on, and, and those of you in trucking will understand, the average person's not going to. Um, you know, people have no realization that every single thing in this entire world comes to you or production or a plant or a store shelf on a truck. Um, and it's a shame that, that truckers get treated like this and, and I could go on a, on a rant that would, uh, would blow your mind. Um, 
how, how most of these truck drivers are treated, treated like third-rate human beings. I mean, they really are, especially with these major carriers. I mean, they treat these guys like slaves. They have zero quality of life. They barely make a living. Um, those of us in the owner-operator business and with our own authority, sure, we make a, a lot more money. But the average guy out there really gets walked on. And these big companies do it time and time again. This Bill Thompson's been around for many, many years. I mean, they were you know, supposed to be a reputable company and just really peeved. And anybody out there that, that if, if you know anybody that's in the trucking industry or owner operator, I, I really appreciate you sharing this video so that the word gets out there that this particular company, Bill Thompson FTI, um, is not honest and not doing well. I, I would hate for other people to haul loads for them expecting payment and then to be burned like I am. I don't have any idea what my recourse is as far as going after their bond. Um, I've never dealt with that before and uh, I'm going to look into it, but I don't know. I'm sure there's probably, you know, 180 day time frame or something like that. But uh, just don't want the little guy to get screwed because, you know, you can haul a load for a couple of thousand dollars and uh, maybe a guy's got heavy expenses this month. Maybe his truck just broke down. He put all his money into it. He's depending on that. That could break him. He could lose his house. He could lose his his you know livelihood, the way to support his family, put food into their mouths because of a dishonest company. And uh, it's just not good. And I'd really like, if you know anybody in the trucking world, please spread the word. Do not use Bill Thompson FTI. Dishonest and they're not paying their bills. Thank you.